Hey there guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're talking about Slider. And uh, Slider 2 is an Apple Music program. It's $349. You can also get uh, preview builds, and we're going to be talking about a preview build today, which is good. As you can see, Windows, Windows, Mac OS, you know, from 1, 2, and 3, Intel, even got your Ubuntu dev dev build uh your app image your rpm and your arch linux so they cover you completely well every os that's worth a damn and every os that's oh every os that's not there rest in peace now they've just released a new build that has 3d cover flow and a whole bunch of other really cool things i've not done a video on cider since cider one so yeah now they're we're gonna go over some of the options real quick okay we head into general you can see that you have dark mode light mode system you have tabs and search as you can see it changes up top i'm gonna leave tabs on it looks pretty good cleans up this side over here a little bit as well you have mika that's what mika looks like and you also have mika tabbed which is what i already have on you have acrylic which looks really bad and it only looks bad because, well, let me go into a playlist of mine. See if you can spot the problem. When you have a fully transparent application like this, you need to do a few things. And it's very, very important. One, you need to separate the UI elements like the song list and stuff with a darker background than the background that's currently here. So this can stay light up here, but this part down here for focus reasons has to be darker same with your playlist stuff over here this needs to be darker than the rest of the window the reason being is so a person can focus i mean look at this this is so light this is not even like this is the color white this is what this is transparent for some reason it shouldn't be it should be as bright as this it should be as bright as this and that's a problem in a nutshell and besides that it looks fine but it doesn't look like they think it does it just looks like someone gave it transparency and said f it we're not gonna do anything else to make it look the way that it should so uh i i honestly just stick with ta with with mika because it looks good now another thing that it can do is we can change the location of the bar and the look of it i'm gonna stay in here of course but we're gonna do that because we're heading in and out and stuff so uh there is Monterra, which puts everything at the top. And as you can see, this stands out from this. And these now stand out from that because there's a little white bar there. And they still should be white like this. Not like this, but whatever. Uh, design is not their strong suit and it never has been. Now, there's adaptive colors, which are nice. I'm not going to enable them. You can choose defaults or desktop. And I'm honestly, I'm going to choose desktop. It looks a little bit better. Sweetener enables a slew of options like immersive backgrounds. And the immersive backgrounds can go up to 120 FPS. Well, actually 240, but 120 I find is the sweet spot for performance. Uh, there's also custom tint colors. Kind of ruin the Mika aesthetic. There's custom accent colors. So instead of red, uh, we want it my purple boom it's done and now it suits me now there's also custom CSS options so if you want to do that you can heading out of there we have animated animated artwork Ugh. and a bunch of options there for that you also have quality levels which is nice uh, content preference the layout of certain pages so there's that and uh, yeah there's immersive mode sonoma sonoma background type there's also animated artwork i have mine turned on start and full screens off background based on bpm so in other words beats per minute which is really nice set brightness and so on you have your lyric options and you also have these so you can choose you can make it go from the left to the right so default left you get your little lights 
And then I can set the menu to go over here to the right. Preferred reduced motion, you know, they have a bunch of really cool stuff in here. We're gonna put that on eager and high res images. It may increase loading speeds, but honestly, it looks better overall. And then you have your audio section. So I like to turn on audio so I can deal with the audio up here at all times. I don't have to come in the menu. You have normalization, uh, volume controls and stuff. 64 bit auto. I'm sticking with 256. You can show the bit rate and now playing. And yeah, this build does not have lossless, as I mentioned. Only the uh, Swift UI build has lossless, and that thing is a disaster. That thing barely works. There's only one person working on it, so I get that it barely works, and that's fine. And you have connectivity. You have advanced with a bunch of tweaks and stuff, troubleshooting. And you have experiments. And you also have uh, an auto update section right here, as you can see. And to get to this beta, you actually have to input a custom token. That's in there, not going there. And then there's, you know, the stable release and the pre-release. And yeah, you can switch between a lot of different things. So it does auto update now, thankfully. That just took forever. So this is the immersive player. There's nothing here, so I'm gonna hit play and hopefully something pops up. It's not going to. Annoying. When I do that on Apple Music, it does that. So well, maybe they'll fix that one day. Uh, what's currently playing? Okay, so when we go to immersive now, as you can see, the artwork's really high quality. Everything looks pretty cool. And then we can click cover flow and it's 3D. Look. How cool is that? Does it remind you of anything? The old school days. Oh man, iTunes cover flow was awesome. I really did like it. And if we close this, there we go. Oh, Cider 2 has really stepped up its game. And when it first started, there was a lot of questionable, questionable decisions that were made. But they've come to something that actually looks good and runs good unfortunately they still are using electron for their linux stuff and i hope they switched using firefox instead because firefox is way more stable than using anything chromium based and it also en enables drm content and a bunch of other stuff it has wide fine so using that would probably be way better and way more stable uh for nvidia users on linux and even amd users because well, Firefox is just smoother. I use a program called Datcore on Linux and it has no issues that Electron has. So switching to that is an alternative, which would be really cool. So um, that's it. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I'll leave the link to Cider 2 in the description below. You guys can go check them out if you want. It is a paid app at this moment in time. You can also head to their Discord. I won't link that. Uh, you'll probably find that on the HIO page. And they do have a pre-release section you can head to if you, like, donate to them or whatever. So you can get pre-release builds like what I have here. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you have a good day. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video. And I'll see you guys next time.